All right, welcome back. Today in this demo, we are going to be showing you how to get an Aruba CX switch uh, that is connected in GNS3 out to communicate to the internet just by pinging 1.1.1.1. Um, we're going to be using the NAT interface to do that. So I'll show you here what we're going to be doing. This is all we're going to be doing, just get to this point, pinging 1.1.1. See, we're good to go here. So what we're going to do, we're going to blow this all away, start from scratch, that way you can see how this is done from the ground up. So the first thing we need to do is import this uh, NAT interface here. Uh, we're going to be using GNS3 VMware. If you have not seen how this is done or if you don't have this installed, I have a video already on my channel here. You can go back and watch that to see how that's all set up. So we're going to add that. Once that's, that gets in, we are going to uh, bring in a switch. We're going to be using an Aruba CX switch. So we're going to add that to add a connection we're going to be adding that on port 6 and just connecting that to the NAT interface once that is set up we need to start all these and get these all going all right switch is booted up here we will log in Center. Show config, show you that it is a defaulted switch. Nothing in here. All right, so let's build this and show you how we do this. First thing we need to do, get into conf t, and we need to create our VLAN. Let's do that. We'll do interface VLAN 111. Now we need to set an IP address for this interface VLAN 111. Um, but what do we use? How do we know uh, what IP address to get this to actually be able to talk outside to the internet? Well, we're actually going to be using GNS3 VMware to do that. So if we go in here to GNS3, um, this is just uh, GNS3 VM that's running on VirtualBox. And you do a show or a IF config. That's gonna give you your uh, all your interfaces. The one that you're looking for is this VIRBR0. This is the interface that actually NATs uh, the VMware uh, that's running in GNS3, uh, your switch actually to um, your virtual box to get you out. So this is the address that we are actually gonna be using for our default gateway. So we can come back over here to our Aruba switch. We'll say IP address 192.168.122. We'll just use two as the next one up. And this is a slash 22. We'll hit that get out of here the last thing we need to do is actually there's two more things we need to do we need to set up a default route IP route we need to do a question mark we're going to do this for any address so we'll just hit this to do zero slash zero and then we're going to be using um, the interface from our VMware here as our default gateway 168.122.4 have that created now we need to set up our actual interface that we are using as you can see here we are using Port six on our Aruba switch. So let's see what Aruba uh, port switch or uh, sorry, port six is on the Aruba switch. Show uh, interface one one six. So there's nothing set up on this interface right now. Um, keep in mind that when you do a show command, you don't actually have to do a do show like you do in Cisco, regardless of which uh, config or just in the regular. Um, non-config mode you can just do a show run uh, to, to do all your commands so that's how I did that so let's go into the interface interface 116 and then we need to do a no shut no routing because we're not doing anything any routing actually on the interface we're doing all on the VLAN and then we need to do a VLAN access 111 once we do that we can ping and get out and that's all we have to do. If this video helped you, uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll do more of these. We'll continue to build off these uh, switches, make them a little bit more complex as we go. But we're going to start off really slow and work our way up. Hope this helped you out.